Hi guys, today I wanted to share with you a Project Life a process video. I'm going to be using the Pop Fizz Paper January Planner Kit. Now this kit also has potential for journaling and for Project Life. It came with a lot of awesome things in it and I will show you things that came in the kit that I'll be using. The first thing is these 3 by 4 uh, project life cards and I love them. They say be brave, hashtag goals. There's pretty watercolor designs. The colors are Erin Condren January colors so I thought it was perfect for a goals project life spread. There's also cards that say be bold and be you so they're all perfect for setting goals for 2016. I also have these solid strips of cardstock that I just pulled from my stash that match back to the colors in this kit. I have these awesome grid cards that are from Becky Higgins. They're great to add in. I have washi tape that's date stamped. This came in the kit as well. This is really cute washi and I cannot wait to use it. I also have this teal color just in case I want to uh, add something that's from my own washi collection. Here are the stickers that came with the kit. Some of them are add-on stickers and they are available at the Pop Fizz Paper Etsy shop and I will link that below and I will also include a coupon code for you guys. Now we also have these as well that came with the kit. They're journaling prompts. I love the January journaling prompts. They are perfect and these word stickers as well that are in the back that say uh, can't stop, won't stop, really cute stuff. Uh, then we have these numbers and days of the week and we have some rub on stickers. Now I may not use all of them but I have them out just in case and it came with the rub on stick as well. Then we have this awesome Heidi Swap date stamp that came with the kit and color box chalk ink in black so this way you can date any of your projects that you create using the kit. And we also have these awesome ephemera pieces. I love these ephemera pieces. The colors match back so well to the rest of the kit and I can't wait to use those as well. I have a Sharpie pen and my pencil and my Becky Higgins Project Life sleeve that I'm gonna be using to create my page. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to start laying out the cards. Normally I speed my video up at this point, but I wanted to leave this portion at regular speed so you can see how I choose my cards. Cards. I'm going to decide on my first card because this is my title card and I choose the one that says hashtag goals since this is all about goals I figured that would be a great way to start it and then in this lower right hand corner I'm going to pick another one of the cards that is be you and then I have also the two other cards that have the writing on them that I think are really cool I'm going to add that to the top right hand corner I think that looks really great. And then the bottom left hand corner, I'm going to add the other cards. So those will be where I highlight all my goals. Then down the center, I'm going to put the solid three by four cards. And I really, really like the way this turned out. This is going to be the pattern that I stick with. Sometimes I change it, sometimes I keep it the same, but we're going to go with this. Now I'm going to speed up the video shortly. Uh, first I'm going to put down these strips of cardstock that I had pulled from my stash. Basically what these are for is to highlight my journaling prompts so that you can see them better on each of the cards. And I'm going to do four separate prompts. And here we go. I'm going to speed up the video and I'm going to put down the first card that says hashtag goals. I think that's so cool. I love that card. It was my favorite in the kit. And I'm going to put down my cardstock for highlighting my journal prompt for this card. Here are the prompts and I'm going to just look through them quickly and the prompt that I'm going to choose for this card is going to say what would you like to achieve this year and I think that's perfect since the card does say hashtag goals so I'm going to put that down. I also want to add a arrow sticker to point towards the journaling prompt so it brings your attention to it. And I found that on the icon sheet and I thought that looked really cute because it highlights my journaling prompt for this card. 
I'm also gonna add uh, these really, really cute rub-on stickers. Now, I should have really cut these apart and I will do that in the future. I made a mistake and some of the other word below it rubbed off, but I'm gonna show you really quickly how to correct that if that happens when you're using rub-on stickers. Once you peel up the sheet, if anything transfers from any of the other words, just take an eraser glue and you can just take that right up with no problems and without ripping the original card underneath. Next, I'm gonna add the word give, and as you can see, I cut them apart at this point. And the last word that I'm gonna add to this is the word up, so it's gonna say never give up, and I really like that because that really helps me to think about focusing on my goals for this year and not to give up at any point, which is very easy to do after you get midway through January. Now I'm gonna go through the ephemera pack and I'm gonna decide on which ephemera pieces I wanna use. I love that open cloud and I love the fact that you can still read the hashtag goals through it. So I'm gonna add that to the left side of the card and I think that looks really, really cute. I'm gonna take my tiny attacher and add some staples for some texture. And then across the top, I'm going to highlight three goals that I have for this year. So I'm going to use the icon stickers to represent my goals. And I will show you them close up. The first one is for losing weight, so it is the tape measure. The second one is the piggy bank for saving money. And then we have the fork and knife for eating better, and that points over to what I hope to achieve for this year. I'm gonna add that ephemera piece that says yes, and this large enamel dot, some rhinestones, and I really, really love the way this title card came out. I think it's a perfect start to this page. So we're gonna move on to the next card. Now on this card here, I am gonna use the card that says be bold. I'm gonna add the piece of cardstock down to highlight my prompt and I'm gonna copy the same design I used on the title card. I'm gonna add the staples like I did earlier and I'm gonna go back to my journal prompts and I'm gonna decide on the one that says, what word would you like to live by this year? So my one little word for this year is gonna go down on this card and I think it's perfect because it does represent being bold and I'm gonna put down a rub-on sticker that says endless possibilities, and I'm gonna add my one word for the year, which is commit, and I just use some simple stories letters for that. And I'm gonna go through, and I'm gonna add this elephant because it's so cute. And I think it works out really well, endless possibilities to commit, to be bold, and this is the word that I'm gonna live by this year, which is commit. I'm gonna add a enamel dot and some more rhinestones. I really like adding rhinestones to my Project Life cards and the word January since we're focusing on goals for January. That card is complete and we're gonna move on. I like the way that is coming out. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is put in all the remainder of my cards so this way I have a pattern to follow as I go through and I'm gonna show you how I create each of the cards individually. This next one here is really cute. It has like the loose watercolor strokes and I think that looks really cool. I end up using the ephemera piece that says here's the story. I'm going to lay down some washi tape that came with the kit to ground the piece of ephemera and I'm just going to write a little journaling of what I hope to achieve this year, what my goals are, all that good stuff for goal setting. And I added a sticker at the bottom that says, let's do this. That was part of the kit as well. And I really like the way that came out. I'm just gonna add an arrow to it. And I'm gonna consider that card done. We're gonna add that in the sleeve and move on to the next card. This card here, I just wanted to do something really simple. I'm gonna add this beautiful flower and enamel piece. And I'm gonna add another rub-on to the top of this. The rub-on says courageous. And I think that's all part of being bold and setting goals for this year. So I'm gonna add that to the top. I love the font on this. So it's really, really cute and really, really simple. I didn't wanna to do too much to this card. And I'm gonna add rhinestones to highlight the word as well, cause I always like adding lots of rhinestones. And we're gonna call that card done and we're gonna move on to the next card. I'm really liking how it's turning out so far. 
I love the lines on this card. They're so fun and so bright. I'm going to add this piece of ephemera that says you make me happy with some more washi tape because I want to focus on being happy for 2016. So I thought that worked out really great and I love that picture frame. It's just so pretty. And we're going to move on to the next card. I love this one. It's like the splattered watercolor. And I love taking pictures, so I'm going to use this camera. And I love that saying that says, live life out loud. I think that's really cool. So I'm going to put down the camera, and I'm going to add an enamel dot just to give it some interest. And I'm going to add that rub-on down at the bottom. Now I do have a little problem with part of the rub-on not transferring, but it's such an easy fix because most rub-ons are black like this. You can just use a pen and fill in wherever the rub-on did not transfer. And I'm going to do that really quickly with my Sharpie pen. And I think it came out really, really cute. We're going to keep this as simple as possible. I'm just going to add a rhinestone on the eye. And I'm going to call that done. And we're going to move on to the next card. Now this card here, I'm going to copy the pattern like I did on my other two 4x6 cards. And this one here says, Be Brave. I'm going to add down that strip of cardstock in the blue. And I think that looks really great so I can highlight the journal prompt and I add some staples as well and for this card we're going to go back to the journal prompts and I am going to use the prompt that says what did you learn last year I think one of the things that I learned last year is to be brave which is definitely on that card on the left but I also learned to be myself and to dare to be different so here I'm going to add this really, really cute tag and I'm going to add the rub on that says dare to be different. I think that's what I learned last year is that I just needed to be different or not to just learn to be different, but to not be afraid to be different. And that's what I learned last year. Be different and don't be afraid to be different. It's okay to be different. You don't have to be like everybody else and to be brave. So I think this worked out totally perfect for this prompt. I added some journaling and I'm going to add this sticker that says keeping it real because that's another thing I learned this past year is to just keep it real and that's the best way to be. I added some rhinestones that I think look really cute and I'm also going to put another one of those large enamel dots and some more rhinestones on the bottom. And I love the way that card came out. I'm going to consider that done and put it in the pocket. And we are going to work on the final card. I'm going to stick with the same pattern as I have for the last three cards that were this size. And I'm going to use this card here that says Be You. Another thing that I want to focus on for 2016. And I'm going to add some washi tape for interest to separate the blue and the white. And I'm going to add another piece of this cardstock down to highlight my journaling prompt for this card. And I'm just using my plus glue runner to put down all these pieces. I'm going to add my staples and that's my Tim Holtz tiny attacher. And we're going to go with how has your style changed for this journaling prompt. And basically, I think how I've changed is to just not do anything but to be myself. So I'm going to use this rub on that says be yourself. And I think that's how I changed. I didn't try to be somebody else. I just tried to be myself and it worked out for me. And I really like that. I also like the saying choose happiness because like I had said earlier, I want to focus on being happy. And I use that date stamp that's super cute. And I add just a little bit of this washi strip with the pattern on it, and we're going to call that card done. So I am really, really happy with how this came out. These came out so awesome and is so fun and so bright and colorful. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I am going to leave the link for Pop Fizz Paper Etsy Shop along with my coupon code as well so you can get 15% uh, off your purchase. And I appreciate you guys coming to visit. This is how the project turned out overall. Thank you so much for watching.